Hello there and welcome to Methods Balanced Druid Roundtable. Today I'm joined by three players who are not allowed to use the kitchen without supervisors, three players who are not allowed to take showers without inflatable armbands, and three players which, according to Danwar, are not allowed to use scissors unless they are child safety scissors from school. It is Methods, three of Methods Balanced Druids, Bangers, one of the officers, Doru and Vosi. Hello lads, how are you doing? Good, yourself? I'm good, man. I'm good. Thank you for not good. getting too angry at my insults to balance Yeah, no, I mean, we're used to it at this point, so... Definitely. Right. Okay, so, uh, a brief explanation of who all of you are. If we can start with you, Bangers. Uh, I'm Bangers, um, officer, officer of Method. Um, I've been in Method before um, for a couple of years, and I'm basically back for the rebuild, which we've been going for a good old year now. Is it yeah, year, every year now? Two years. Um, two yeah, years. is it two years? No yeah. way. It is. That's yeah. actually crazy, bro. Well, yeah, but yeah, so I've been in here since the start um, and really happy with how we're getting on, really. Doru? Hey, I'm Doru, and uh, I've been here since the rebuild, but I <laughs> kind of stepped down lately because of studies. So right now I'm a support and helping his in the dad, basically. and helping every the, yeah, all the Boomkins. Not that much. Like, um, I'm raiding casually now. Vosi. Yeah, hello. Um, so I'm Vosi. Yeah. I've been in Method like, uh, I don't know, four years ago, I think, Bangers. Uh, with yeah. You. yeah. Uh, in Nijin. And then, uh, yeah, I stepped back from uh, Race 4 first in uh, like part of BFA and in Shadowlands as well. And I've been uh, coming back in uh, Method for like, uh, I don't know, four months, I think. Fifth month, like five yeah. months. I think, yeah. So, uh, yeah. It's good to I'm, see uh, you guys. To, to the guild. Look, I've got to say, first of all, all of you guys, obviously I've been around now for about a year or so. My name's Grant, for those who don't know, I'm a caster for Method now, or an influencer, I guess, technically. Um, and seeing all of you guys, we missed you last year, Doru, but seeing all of you guys grow and improve has been amazing. Whether it's, you know, res bangers on Painsmith or, or yeah, something that's, else. That's, that, is a, that is a troll, bro. That's yeah. a bad one. So, okay, let's yeah. get started. First of all, Vosi, I want to know... Outside of Balanced Druid, what are your first impressions of Dragonflight so far? Um, <clears throat> the word I would use for Dragonflight is quality of life. Um, I'm the type of guy that I love to do alts, to have alts in general. And I think all the systems they implemented, there's no, like, there's not much new systems, let's be honest. But mm. uh, at least Good. from what we've seen, there's <laughs> nothing to farm endlessly and... That's something people generally don't like. I know people like it, but like for my part at least, I don't like it. So yeah, it's gonna be like free, uh, just gameplay actually. Like you don't have to farm for anything, just play the, the, the character you wanna play. And that's that's the, the word I would use. Like in general, I love dragons and like all those things. Yeah. But uh, Hopeful. more based on the system, I, li I like it like this, yeah. Yeah. Doru, how are you feeling from an outside perspective, I guess? Uh... From both and outside, like I'm still playing the game, oh, and, okay. I'm not, and, I'm, and I'm playing a lot, but not as much. <laughs> uh, like the overall view of Dragonflight, I really like it. Though I, I like the talent system. Uh, it's more overwhelming in the start, but it creates more options, which I already figure out. It's a lot of fun to play around and testing things, way more than before when you had like with three. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> as as Mossy said, like uh, about the farming perspective of it. I kind of agree. At the same time, I don't, because World of Warcraft and Blizzard in itself are really bad to like cover the old perspective. So we have a lot of work to do when we have to cover alts. So I would like to have more farming perspective from a main perspective, and then the catch-up system that's really good for all yeah. the alts. So you yeah. can play okay. around and have fun and test systems as, on the way you go, but just multiple times. Yeah. And bangers, how are you feeling? Yeah, um, I'm looking forward to um, the talent trees. Are actually, what I'm looking forward to the most. Yeah. Like, if I don't want to have hibernate on my bars, I don't have to have hibernate on my bars, right? You can pretty much go through what you need for the thing you're doing, right? Um, and it offers so much more options. Um, and the balance actual tree is really good. I think like there's a couple of different routes you can take for different things, mm. but 99% of the time, like there was, you can use the same spec for a lot of the situations and still do good damage, right? Um, which is what I really enjoy. So what you're um, saying is 100% you're never taking interrupt. Yeah, basically. Yeah, Especially like, where, where Solar where is, right is right now. You, yeah, are, no. you are not taking that. No, that, that, no, no you I was looking. Uh, no way, dude. Let's no get way. into it. You've just started, so I'm going to let you carry on, bangers. What are your first thoughts about seeing the new balance tree, first of all? I'll, I'll stick there with you. I'm going to ask someone yeah. else something different. Yeah, so like, basically what I said, yeah, the, the tree I think is actually really well set up in the fact where 
Like you can just change a couple of small things for different bosses or let's just say you've got AoE. Like it's just a couple of nodes you can literally change for two points and you're gonna be like perfectly suited for that that raid boss, right? So like you don't have to completely mess up your spec to go AoE single target. Um so yeah, that's basically it is really I think it's really well set up. Maybe solar beam, the raid leaders ain't gonna be happy where that is, because let's be honest, we're not taking it unless we really, really have to take it, unless yeah. you want us to lose a lot of DPS. Yeah. Um but yeah, I am really happy with the tree. Um, it's a melee issue, to be honest. Interrupts. Yeah, it is, dude. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, yeah. Oh, so I oh, interrupts like a minute, and it's even worse. I mean, you can take it. Yeah. At forty-five seconds, but you'll never ever take that. I don't never. think so. No. Vosi, so, yeah. what I want to speak to you first of all, let me know a little bit about what you think about the tree, but also about the change with Eclipse not alternating. You know, you don't have to go solar, lunar, solar, lunar. You yeah. go solar, solar, lunar, 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 solar. Uh, how do you feel about yeah. that and the balance tree in general? Well. Like, first of all, for the Eclipse, uh, I think we have more control in situations, which is way better, of course. Like, being in a solar eclipse in Metaclipse feels really bad. Like, it's never been something like we wanted to, like, to force in some way. Uh, but with the, I mean, with the Arcanic Pulsar, we are, like, barely in a solar eclipse, to be honest. Like, it's not, uh, it was not really an issue, but right now we'll have the choice to, to go lunar when we want and go solar on single target, which is really good for Metek Plus, actually. Like, in this content, is really good. For Raid, it won't change much. And for the, um, for the tree in general, the only thing I, like, I, I can agree with uh, Bangers that we don't have to change everything to have a proper build for most situations. Uh, there's some talents not working obviously right now, yeah. so like it might change in the future what we're gonna do or not. And the only thing I would say that is a bit negative because like there's always something that you don't like uh, is the like. Can I talk about one talent in particular? Yeah, or of course. Yeah. In general, uh, the Rattle the Stars talent is really good for like AOE and single targets, but it's like uh, locked into a multiple target build, yeah. I would say, like this. Like in single target, you don't wanna you don't wanna use Starfall, but you cannot force to pick it up. In because and, and and the next talent as well, actually, Lena Shrapnel, which is not good for single target normally. And so yeah, Rattle the Stars should be in the middle of the tree for me and not gated by something you only want for multiple targets. That's that's my fire my okay. thoughts, please. My question to you, Doru, I've been told you are a genius here. I want you to talk to me a little bit about the new mastery with Balanced Druids. Right oh. now, and, and to, to go into a little Druid bit of preface bad, here, yeah. we are not going to be talking about the amount of damage Balance is doing. No, no, no. no. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm not. Like, numbers that, are going to change. This is going to come uh, out. Yeah. Maybe changes uh, will have happened. This is happening right after the tree was launched that, in a day that... or two. But... That doesn't have that much to say about the mastery in itself, because no. uh, you can change other things and reduce the damage. The mastery change is absolutely beautiful yeah. uh, due to many perspectives, but uh, it makes incarnation less important, like uh, our cooldown, three minute mm -hmm. cooldown. So it makes us better in between cooldowns because of uh, now we don't rely on eclipses to do damage. We still we are still good in eclipses because the eclipse increases nature damage by X and Lunar damage by X, but it's fifteen percent. But yeah, uh, and but mastery in itself increases. Like it makes when we have sunfire on the target, it increases our nature damage. When we have moonfire on the target, it increases our lunar damage. Lunar damage. Yeah, and those two together obviously is astral damage. But star surge and starfall are astral damage. Also stellar flare and other like fear of loon. So when you have moonfire and sunfire now, you do a lot of damage in between, outside of eclipses even, mm. outside of cooldowns. So you do a lot of damage when you have dots on the target. This means it's more important and a harder playstyle. Hello, cat. <laughs> <She's> uh, like <laughs> <that>. <laughs> it's a bit harder playstyle. You have to be more focused when more targets enter the battle or like for fights. You have to, you want your dots up instantly because yeah. now dots are way more important. Yeah. And they cover the fight a lot. Like you will do double the damage if you have dots on the target, literally. With star for uh, star search and starfall, so it is a beautiful change because it changed up the way balance worked and makes it more smooth. So <laughs> overall, like you can just say fuck eclipse because it's annoying, <laughs> but it's so it's not that important to go into the eclipse. Like you can so, still finish off a target without being in the end of the eclipse after it. So yeah. So how big would it be to say, for example? 
Uh, warlocks have a spell that instantly puts all their dots on, right? Affliction Warlocks, I believe. How big would that be for something like Balanced Druids? Is that something that would be... Uh, I know we don't have that, but... Well, you uh, have that if you take the uh, thing. What's it called? It's Tissage. It doesn't do that. It, yeah. only, it only covers... Um, um, Stellar Flare, which is okay. kind of useless when it comes to that part. Like, True, if you yeah. think... It, the damage of Tissage is good for AoE. But if Tissage, for example, on AoE, put Sunfire, Moonfire, and Stellar Flare, or not even Stellar Flare, but Sunfire, Moonfire, and you could use that on a big AoE pack in the dungeon, you would instantly do millions of damage. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, instead of you already turning are, on... But yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> instead of Moonfiring six mobs to cover 12 mobs if you play Twin Moons, or 12 mobs if you don't play Twin Moons, and one Sunfire, obviously, if they're stacked, you can just get instantly all the damage you want, but you kind of have to use Sunfire and dot up the mobs now in dungeons to do damage on them. Yeah. That's yeah. the difference, but it, it is a way more fun way to play the game anyway, so that's, I like it. That's my next question. Uh, is it fun? I'm hearing a lot of, obviously, oh, yeah. doing being at the top of the DPS meter by, like, 900,000 damage is fun. Um, I don't really care about that. It's but, unrealistic. Yeah, yeah. But, but is it fun? Do you feel like you're getting, you press your buttons, do they feel impactful? I want to start with you here, uh, Bangers. Are you enjoying playing Yeah, it? so let's, let's just say, like, on live, just as an example, like, outside your CDs, you're literally tank. You're literally tank damage, yeah? So, like, it feels so bad to play, like, um, but on on beta, literally, your, your damage is, like, constant so i know that's obviously going to get nerfed a little bit but you just always have damage and uh, that feels so much nicer to play than when you're a three minute class just doing damage for three minutes uh, for like 30 seconds or whatever and then you're literally doing nothing in between um so yeah it feels way nicer to play and i just feel like it's like it just feels so much smoother to play as well because you can choose what you want to be in what clips you want to be in so like you don't have to rotate um mm. i think it that does actually make it a little bit easier to play because i feel like on live now like you have to like sort of be quite clever with your eclipses if you yeah. have no aries coming up like you sort of have to try and be in luna right um whereas now like you can always just shoot so like that does take that little bit of skill away from it but there is obviously other uh, skill in the boom spec now anyway so it's pretty good Vosi, are you in agreement that it feels fun uh have you had much chance to really to really slam your face into your keyboard and do infinite dps yeah <laughs> but the thing is uh i like to have control of on what I'm doing, and I feel like nowadays you don't really have control on what you do as a boomy. Like you just rely on crits mainly when you're bursting and like procs on convoke if you're playing a night fair. Obviously, um, it's just like in mythic plus, it was barely a change if you had dots or not on the targets, mm. which like you had to be in eclipse. That was the main thing because mm -hmm. of the mastery, of course. But other than that, it was just feeling really bad. And of course, having the star fall back like it was before add something really good, which is you can spend, can actually spend astral power for sh for something that w that's worth. Because on some situations right now, you would just spam Lina Strike because there's too much targets and Star yeah. Search is just a good option for that. So um, yeah, I would say it's more enjoyable and to to um, answer uh, Bangus, but the fact that it's not uh, tricky right now, like it's easier. I would say that the only tricky part is when you're leaving an eclipse now that you have to choose the the next one. You have to think you ahead. Have to yeah, 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 yeah. The very yeah. end yeah. of the lunar eclipse, which is not something that someone yeah. is playing boomy for a long time yeah. is going to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. often doing that on the beta right now. Where <laughs> I'm like at one stack of of, of lunar strike at the end of my eclipse. I'm like, okay, I cast too much. Like one, one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah one I too many. Yeah. Like. So yeah, yeah, yeah one too. Yeah, many. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah, well, it's just and... a mind trick that we have to change. Yeah. Well, it was always on the bottom. Now we maybe will be on top. <laughs> <laughs> middle, middle. Um, middle. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Do you think it's a good spec for someone new to maybe range DPS to pick up going into Dragonflight? Do you feel like it's? You said it's a little more simplified to pick up, harder to uh, master, both, maybe. Both ways. Yeah, maybe harder to master. I, I, all I'll say is if you've got a uh, carpal tunnel in your wrists or your hands, I wouldn't pick up this class because you're just constantly spamming, bro. There's like, me and Doro hit the dummy for five minutes and I have to take a 20 minute break after because my arms are <laughs> like, you've just got so much actual power and stuff and you're just constantly spamming star searches and stuff. Like, so, now, but yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if you uh, have sore fingers, don't, don't play Boomkin, dude. Can tell like, you're not you StarCraft need to, you need, players. You need to <laughs> Like, it is a track heavy spec i would yeah, say yeah yeah so you need to track a lot the same with affliction warlock and stuff like that you need to track yeah. your dots and you need to track your buffs because there's a lot of passives that interact with the mm. spec right now mm. a lot of passives 
So if you miss out on something, you lose a lot of damage instantly, and your dots take out instantly. So you, if you don't track anything, you need weak or else you need. Yeah, like right on the start. I wouldn't recommend so playing it without like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I was gonna. Uh, yeah. For a new player, I, I they kind of know, but okay. in in theory, if you if you like tracking stuff, perfect. Like, yeah. Okay. That's my yeah. Take. Anything to add there, Vasey? You good? Uh, yeah, I just to think that the gap between a good and a bad player on Boomy is going to be way bigger than it was before. Like, to me, at least. Like, okay. uh, as Daru said, if you miss something, you're going to lose a lot of it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Especially if you play Mastery. Like, it can be, like, his crit, but I doubt it It, it should be Mastery. Like, I, I would like to to build Mastery, to be honest. Like, mastery is much more interesting. Else. I, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. It, it isn't discussable if you want to do damage. <laughs> 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 oh, sorry, <laughs> mate. Uh, like, from a like, theoretical point of view, mathematical yeah. point yeah. of view, it wouldn't be sufficient to go anything else. Like haste, master haste, and then, and then. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's pretty much how you play it right now. Yeah. Okay, my next question is about build diversity because Spang, as you said earlier, and we'll start with you here, that you could change just two talents and and yeah. be consistent. Is there room to be creative? Is there room to take maybe some of the lesser? anticipated uh, talents or do you see it as being uh we have two builds aoe single target is there like a two-person cleave build a three-person cleave build a 10 target cleave build or aoe build um unless they do tuning i actually really don't think there's much there's really not really going to change much at all like uh i'm looking at now um unless they make unless you got like a maybe like a 10 target boss do you reckon scissors you might be better than poster but not with the tuna now because you just have poster for so like poster's just I, so I, big. I can tell you one thing that uh i i have <laughs> info about that's wild mushrooms obviously fungal growth will be yeah. a part of uh twi waning twilights that is gonna yeah. happen and you also have astral smolder which also will be a part mm -hmm. of waning twilights which is the crit buff when you crit yeah that, that could yeah uh, so we have two more buffs that will be a part of the damage increase in theory, like from a ta another talent. So CCG, as Banger said, can yeah. be like a good way to. And maybe if you maybe if stuff. like add to permanently spawn and your permanently dot on stellar innovation could be good to get more star falls up. I don't really know, but that's obviously all stuff that we just have to theory craft and test for now. It, it's um, hard without. Yeah, obviously, we're pre mythic yeah. testing as well. We're pre mythic uh -huh. plus testing. And so plus if, yeah. Everything on beta right now, especially with current balance tuning, dies immediately. I watched you do the first boss of uh, yeah. Ruby Life Pools <laughs> with... It was you, Bangers. I watched you do yeah. it with uh, Kali, and the boss died in literally 11 yeah. seconds. It yeah. was ridiculous. Yeah. Um, you had two balance druids, so... Vosi, uh, are you seeing anything in terms of build diversity that interests you, or are you kind of in agreement that you're just going to play a couple of, of different uh, builds? And... I agree with him. I'm just going to say that uh, even though we can change talents, it's not going to change the way we're going to play anyways. Like, okay. there's no much talents that's going to... Like, it's only the, the, the mushroom that uh, Doru mentioned, but... Uh, oh, we're coming into like, that, don't worry. <laughs> one mushroom every couple of seconds, and it's just adding one spell to rotation, but it's going to change, like, the whole... Uh, plan on your boomy like in general just put dots and you're going to the right eclipse or you are in cd and then the blast us just like, button. yeah yeah exactly yep. i mean it's not gonna be change it's not gonna change your gameplay in general i'll say okay like even on, on multiple targets let's talk about new abilities first of all wild mushroom uh we've talked about it a couple of times it's a new ability where you spawn a mushroom underneath a target it gets big it blows up target goes boom new. Yeah, boom. No. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> is it fun? Is it rewarding, Dory? Uh, right now it is, but uh, it, it is not going to be as rewarding when they uh, fix the scaling, because uh, okay. right now yeah. it's doing 70% of the damage each tick. Yeah. Like, it takes for five times, mm -hmm. a bit depending on the haste, but five times in general. And it is 70% of the initial damage it done when it exploded, did, uh, every tick. And it's supposed to do only... 70% damage over the whole duration of 8 seconds, so when that happens, it will not be as rewarding, okay. but then again, they will fix it, so it helps buff Waning Twilight, which is the damage increase when you have 3 yeah. periodic damage spells on the target for 8%, and that, mm. then it will be a bit more rewarding again for multi-target, for example. Bang is so, anything yeah. to add, or you well, just my main agreement? theory well, before like we actually got to test it was that it was going to be like our burst AOE because Boom can mm. on live now. You you have to like ramp your AOE up. You put yes. your dots up. You get one star forward up or whatever, 
Um, and by that time, the ads are dead, right? Mm. In Mythic Plus, at least. Um, mm. So in my theory, that was going to be like our birthday. Like we put the mushroom down and it boom, and then the ads die. And it's um, just a cool but down, yeah. The, yeah, but so I think it's quite a cool spell. I actually really do enjoy it. And at the moment, it's pretty OP. Like the fungal growth is doing like your third highest damage, which is like That's quite crazy. high. Um, and what well, they call Spangers. Yeah. The, the, the dots. <laughs> Yeah, the dot's actually pretty crazy. Um, yeah, yeah but... I really enjoy it, and it adds an extra little bit to this, the, the class. When it helps increasing the overall, you don't need stellar flare. Uh, yeah. True. And uh, that's, yeah. And Vasi, I'm going to imagine you agree here. Yeah, I agree. I was just thinking of the... Yeah, I was thinking, like, Bango is like, it's going to be, like, our burst AoE, but it's helping us more in, like, single target than, than it... Like, in my, in my, in my uh, head, it was just a... Uh, multiple target talents mm -hmm. and now i i it looks like something you could be used in single target as well as a, as so, a fat dot yeah to it's get a you bit on. weird but uh yeah let's see how it's scaled with the winning uh, twilight as story said and sticking with you here they see radiant yeah no we're not going for that yet we're going astral communion 75 yeah. astral power straight away can you see that being used because balance from my knowledge and i'm not a balanced I'm not Doru here. Uh, yeah. You don't struggle for astral power, um, so uh, is that going to be nice outside of your cooldowns to be able to to just keep bursting, just pressing that star surge button? Uh, it's not especially outside of cooldowns, but it's also like this talent for mm -hmm. me. When I look at it the first time, I I thought it was really good for switching on a target, for example. Like okay. what Boomy is really good at in like raid situations when it comes to. Like a switch on a nut, it's just burst it in like, I don't know, five, six seconds. Because yeah. you can stack, obviously, your Astral Power. Now you have to put your dots on top of the target, which is yeah. taking you like two GCDs. So the target has to like stay alive for, let's say, five, six seconds at least. Mm. But uh, Astral Communion for those situations is a really good talent. So you have like your, your full stack of Astral Power, you can dump it completely and then Astral, po uh, Astral Communion, sorry. And you can dub it again, and so you can like chain, I don't know, maybe eight uh, star, star with, uh, the stars, maybe eight star mm. sausages, which is really, really good for the situation. Uh, I think in general, in single targets, it's also really good because with the, um, uh, sorry, what's it called? Uh, Arcanic Pulsar, it, it charges it as well. Like uh, you can like cycle the, the Arcanic Pulsar a bit more uh, than in normal situations. But I doubt in AoE, it's going to be a uh, good talent. That's all I can okay. say about it. Dory? Agree? I agree. Like, uh, the only thing is that if it's f a five second ad or six second ad, you won't have time to use Astro Communion since it's the third global yeah. or fourth global if yeah. you want uh, extra damage from Stellar Flare on it too. Um, so there's a lot of globals now to build up the burst. Mm -hmm. But uh, I 100% agree with the rest. Except, what, what what did you say in the end, was, was it? That you don't uh, think it's going to be a good AoE? AoE though. is going to be not that big. Or... I think I, I think it's gonna be pretty big in both situations. So right okay. there, I don't agree. But yeah, like because you need you want Starfalls up and running, and you like you will gain more Astral Power, but Starfall also costs more Astral Power. So and you lost a bit of uh, the G uh, regen in the latest update. And bangers, do you have any final opinion on? Uh, yeah, I, I do like that talent. Um, I think it is going to be good for progress, maybe sometimes because, like you mm -hmm. said, with target switching. Like a lot of the times, you, you that astral power will be pretty good. Um, but I, I don't know. I don't think uh, it's going to be tight between that and another talent. But I don't know if you've got another question on that. So I'll wait a little bit for that. Maybe but yeah, we'll see. I actually, I personally like uh, Nature's Grace quite a lot. I mean, I was doing quite a lot of testing on the beta dummies, and I was doing a lot more damage with that than with astral communication on single target, at least, anyway. Okay. Um, and they are basically next to each other. So, in my opinion, you either take one or the other most okay. of the time. Um, uh, yeah. That's interesting. So, yeah, it is pretty good. I want to talk about. You will definitely use it. You will some... definitely use actual communication on some fights at some point. So, let's talk about your capstones because there's a couple that interest me. First of all, friend of Fey and the talent before that, which name completely eludes me, gives you a little dragon, a little yeah. friend that comes out. Uh, there's not a lot of info on how much damage it does. I watched some videos and it seems okay, but the capstone for it, when it's out, is a six percent damage amp. Last I checked. Yeah. Do you like the look of that? Is that uh, not only thematically having your little dragon friend? I'm sure you'll like that. You can call cool. it speed or cool. something. Yeah. Um, it is. It is an old like that's also an old like uh, okay. interaction with the game. Same with the mushroom. We had the dragon before. I don't remember if it was Wod or 
Alpha Citadel. Really uh, Alpha Citadel. Plus two set and four set of Alpha Citadel. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. Same yeah. So it, it is an old interaction with the game okay. that I really like back then. So I, mm -hmm. for me, it's a bit nostalgia that comes back. Glad to see it. It it, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but the six percent damage six minutes for six six no thirty seconds is really yeah, big. That is good. Is um, it only you, like a one minute cooldown or something as well? No, Did it, I miss... it, it, uh, like if they didn't change the interaction, you can have two up at the same time. Oh if wow! You, if you get yeah. good procs. Uh, That's yeah, interesting. The the damage increase doesn't stack. Doesn't yeah. I just, doesn't I just think it uh, takes over. Like it starts yeah. over again. Like, mm -hmm. um, um, but other than that, it it is a good talent to pick. Okay. Because it is a, around like then you can say six percent plus one and a half percent of your damage or so seven and a half plus the boys damage, damage yeah. increase over the whole course of the fight, which is a good talent. That's a lot of damage. The other captain I was interested in was Radiant Moonlight, and that's having that second full moon and the full moon build. You know the the Venfir Boomkin build. Do you can you, is that going to be played? Because I'm like I said, not a Boomkin X point expert by any means. Can you? And I'm going to start with you here, Bangers. Can you see that being used? Is that something that's going to be? Do you mean Fury of Loon or New Moon? Because uh, Fury of Loon, Loon is what we play on on live with the yeah. Venfir. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, well, I think uh, well at the moment you're definitely playing Fury of Loon. Um, okay. It's just quite a bit better. Uh, I also just feel like you're just spamming the star so, so much right now. Like, I don't even know where you'd even fit in full moon cast. That's what, yeah. Cast. And there's like, a capstone, right? Which is Radiant Moonlight, which when you yeah. full moon, the next one will be another full moon. Yeah, yeah. But that's a lot um, of casting outside uh -huh. of your star surges. Yeah, and also, obviously, when you're casting, you're not casting star surges, which means your rattler stars might be falling off. Um, yes. Which then that's a big DPS loss as well. Um, so so at the that. moment, I just see it's going to be Fury of a Loon unless yeah. they change some tunings or something. Okay. Um, but that is pretty good, Fury of a Loon. Especially, and it's even good better on Airy, obviously. Uh, and it's hard to fit in because uh, yeah. you you will like if you don't count your shooting stars procs, yeah. which is hard by the way. Yeah, uh, you can probably can't make count. a week. You can probably make a week or for that too. But then another full moon will drop at the same time, give you fifty astro power, and then you cast yours, and then you yeah. overcap by forty astro power, for example. Yeah. That that is not a good it's feeling. A big waste. So. No. No, then yeah. you just wasted the whole talent instead of going yeah. fury for loon. And yeah, so. and agreed that yeah. they Come to yeah, I yeah. completely agree with that. Yeah, on on builds that we have right now, we there, there's no use of uh, the new moon full moon. Okay. There's no space for that. So let's talk about another ability that is staying, and that is convoke the spirits. Uh, convoke is, mm. I'd say, probably the most iconic of the Shadowland Covenant abilities. I'd go that far. Um, sure. Are you happy that it's staying, and it seems like it's going to still be very prominent in your? Repertoire, Vosi. I'm going to let you go first because I'm. This is feeling exciting for me. I can feel something <laughs> building. Well, I I know why people love this spell. Like, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to be honest. I I know from the perspective of casual players or even pe persons, like, people that love druids in general, like they like it. I I don't like it because I don't like energy in general. That yeah. that's my my thoughts, of course. Uh, and also I don't like it because in like some situations it's a really bad spell. Like, it's been really good for only single targets um, situations, and in particular the ones that you wanted to burn down. Like I said before, yeah. like uh, the ads quick on, uh, the first in progress or mm. Lihuvim, for example, in transitions. Uh, it was a really good spell for that. But uh, right now, especially when the starfall is like the old starfall again, and you can stack it, you uh, like unless they change it, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, you cannot proc a starfall when there's already a starfall on you. So it means the talent is completely useless in 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 AOE, basically. Yeah, like it's only a single target thing, mm. and it's not even as good as uh, incarnation to me. When they added uh, the reduce, um, uh, the, the 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 sorry, the asphalt power reduce on the uh, starfall and star talent. search. Yeah, like it, it's like I don't know. I I never really liked it to be honest, but uh, I I doubt we will pick it uh, again. To be, to be like it, they need to change it at least. I'm gonna mix this up and go bangers next. Yeah, I don't like this spell, man. I've <laughs> never liked this. I've never liked this spell uh, ever since it's come out. Like, I've always wanted to go. But if we can go, if Venfir is like five percent less than Night Fae, like you want to play I'll still, I'll, I'll, I'll still try to make Venfir work, unless you need to play uh, Convoke, right? Um, one main reason I hate it is because you have to be like in melee for ninety yeah. percent of the time to use it. Um, otherwise, it's gonna start healing people around you and stuff, yeah. which is not. It's not fun. Yeah. Um, two is RNG, like uh, Vossi said. Um, that's never fun. Like your your boom can mate's got a full moon coming down, and you're not got nothing. That's the, yeah. that's not fun, right? Um, it is if you're the one that has it. Yeah. It is if you're the one that has it. Yeah, and you're like 30k DPS more. Yeah. Um, 
that's it really i mean the f- problem is that spell is so good on progress like uh yeah. you know like people are saying like you literally if you need to burst and add down you press convoke the free boom can press convoke that dies right it's certainly um it's kind of a it's a dpso shit button you've always got yeah. the heat, like the defensive yeah. those shit buttons but it's a dps one which is great because huh. uh, you can make something disappear with four yeah. boom can pressing it um dory final thoughts on on convoke and it's staying Sadly, for all the Convoke lovers, it will not bring uh, bring you much uh, more DPS because it is on the Sims too. Like uh, on the Sims we have, that it is lower Don't by around five percent. Uh, also, like you don't need it anymore to burst as much as it did before because mm. uh, of the way you play the game now. You have yeah. more star surges, which yeah. does more damage without cooldowns, so you yeah. don't need Convoke to cover that. So it just brings Convoke down. And the second talent in the incarnation way, or the, that way, which is called uh, uh, Elune's Guidance, mm-hmm. is makes incarnation beautiful. Okay. And, and it, Convoke is just getting smoldered down instantly by it. So, right. Yeah, we won't play it. We're running out of time, so I want to talk about one more thing quite quickly, and that is utility. Balanced Druid utility generally, on Druid utility generally. If balance went through as a very competitive DPS, do you bring enough utility to be stacked, is my question. Is there a reason to bring another balance druid over a warlock? Do you feel that you have that utility? Bangers first. It all depends on your healers, mainly. Okay. Uh, Innovate's very big on progress, so if you've got a Mistweaver and a Dis Priest, you're going to want two balance druids, right? Because they're both going to be crying out for an Innovate. Um, so that is really important. And obviously the one minute rule which you can take now is also going to be pretty OP on progress. Like the amount of times you roar to get to a marker or crazy. roar to get to the seeds or roar to, you know, everything basically. Um, so yeah, this is why Boomkins, you've seen four Boomkins on end fights, like how many times? Like the last four end fights probably. Yeah. And one of the main reasons is just because innovate cooldowns and, you know, roar. roar yeah. I mean, uh, what was the last boss? The one we just did, Jayla, right? We you mm. literally needed like four rules. You yeah, can you did. like you you literally needed like four rules to get to the places where you need to be. Um, so yeah, Boomkin utility or even Druid utility is pretty is pretty OP. Doro agreed. Uh, yeah, uh, we have also more now. So we had Nature Vigil too, which is mm-hmm. uh, a healing cool. And if all mm-hmm. Boomers uses that at the same time, for example, we can heal up the raid by ourselves. That's crazy. Like, so, yeah, it's uh, good, yeah. if if you combine it, like it is strong alone. But Hang on. Together, it's just don't bring your... healers anymore. Just all ah, boom yeah. cares. <laughs> but just... yeah, you have more utility now than before. So yeah. yeah. And if I see anything to add on, on general druid utility going uh, One thing uh, in the druid tree, I'm kind of sad that we have to go on the left, to be honest, because there's a lot of useless talents that we have to pick mm. to get the capstone on the the very left, uh, like bottom left. Uh, which has been changed actually. Um, you don't need that anymore. Fruit, 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 mm. back. <laughs> yeah. uh, I don't know. I, I don't even know if you need that, but I I hope we don't pick that away because I oh. like the um, like the old the healing utility we had in raid in general. Like uh, being able to. Uh, also, ah. yeah, I linked it. You can also change up the left side, take away the speeding or healing on. Yeah. Your... Okay. You don't. You're going. Okay. Yeah. You're okay. You yeah. can. You can get mm. there, but I mean, picking trash swipe and all these these talents that you don't want to press at all feels kind of bad and yeah. i yeah i really like the way we were healing on the first phase of Fivenes, for example like uh, uh bangus mentioned the four druids it was really good for many reasons but as well for the healing in, in first phase like uh, using our heart of the wall to yeah. to heal at the very end of the phase was really really strong yeah it was nice and yeah i like this utility and i hope we can bring it to the raid again Okay, I've got one question more for each of you, and that is, I need a tier list rating from F to S on balanced druids, and I want some disagreements and some fights. Well, they're bangers. Well, both of you have been, well, yeah, the two top lads here have been in the gym, so let's not, <laughs> let's not fight too hard here. F yeah. to S, no A pluses, just, you know, F, C, D, like, I, don't know, I don't know letters. Uh, bangers, I'm going to let you go first. I mean, our, our tier set, when you compare it to other people's tier sets, they're actually, they're actually not that bad, right? No. Um, yeah, that actually, it's actually pretty good. Considering we're already pretty good, it's it's adding us to be even better, right? You feeling that? Um, ba- no, fe- yeah, it, probably. Uh, if you actually look at all the other talent, uh, all the other specs, sorry, tier sets, it probably is S uh, when you compare them to 
some of the ones that I've read uh, yeah. feel sorry for. Uh, Warriors? Yeah, and the rest yeah. of the Apparently, like, you wouldn't even wear oh. it. Like, you'd actually take stats over yeah. the actual proc, which is... And that's a four-piece as well. I think there's yeah. a four-piece for it. So, the two's uh, okay, I think, but the yeah. four's not So, uh, yeah, I think it's an S for, for Moonkins. So, it's... yeah, we're, we're looking good. We're looking good. Overall, we didn't talk a lot about tier. Of course, tier, this is... Uh, there's not a lot to talk about, I think. Um, yeah. Balance Druid is one of the better ones. They're all just kind of a, a yeah, flat number was, increase. Yeah, it got nerfed, didn't it? Like they, uh, it was meant to be better. Uh, bef- they changed. Did they nerf it a little bit? I haven't seen it. I if, haven't if, seen if, that. If it wasn't nerfed, then I haven't seen it. The one, no. the one on live was the one on live we got now. We, that was meant to be a little bit better, wasn't it? Because uh, I, I, I was not like, really live. Oh, you you mean the one we have on live? Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that yeah, got, got harder. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like it was meant to be like really, really yeah, good, yeah, and then yeah. and now it's just like good. It's it's good for you. Yeah. But the one we got now, yeah, yeah, the one we got now is 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 really good, and it actually synergizes with some of the stuff in our tree, which is also like our rafts and stuff and starfires are just gonna hit so hard. I would I would say it's the A. Like the two the two piece is gigantic strong if you can play correctly around it which makes balance a bit harder by the way if you want to like play yeah. around it you can in, you can use it as an interaction which no one mm-hmm. no none of the other tiers have Snelly. so you can play around with it you can stack up and you can do a big star fight for example on an aoe pack mm. like you, so so it, i like i really like the two piece the four piece is boring but it is good yeah they see Close yeah, I agree on what Darius was about to say, but I like the way it's changing our gameplay in general. Like we need to think of it. Not, it's not like a passive thing that you have that it's enhancing uh, your abilities by ten percent, for example, like other classes got. Mm. So yeah, I, I kind of like it for for like many reasons, like uh, like Darius said. And yeah, I don't know for the class. I, I would I would say S. I would hope for S, but uh, I feel like right now we should have like a niche. Uh, like we we've always have like this. Uh, niche dps with the software yeah uh on situation like sylvanas uh, for the arrows and and mm-hmm. those things and i feel like right now we're like i'm looking at all the situations and we are kind of like good at pretty Ever much thing? everything i would say yeah so yeah i would put it very high because because of that yeah i don't see any like issues except for the talent that i mentioned but uh yeah in game i i feel like we can like cover a lot of uh situations yeah so i like it like it is yeah I had fun leveling as Boomy for the first time in since roughly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can just, you start full and everything just dies. <laughs> yeah, you have to that's... dot them first. Yeah, you have to dot them first. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Oh no, two GCDs. It's hard work. Like, basically, yeah. everyone's gonna want to level our Boomkins, dude, because that's yeah, just gonna yeah. make leveling so quick. Uh, yeah. I, I've got my leveling party here now, then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, with that, guys, uh, that is going to be Method's Balanced Druid round table discussion. It's nice to see positivity going forward. It's nice to to yep. see and get to know some of the newer Balanced Druids. And, of course, Bangers, who's been around for like 100 years at this point. Yeah, um, old, yeah <laughs> not as old as me. Um, yeah. So, uh, Bangers, where can people find you social media-wise, please? We are going to put this uh, all below YouTube description. Twitch is twitch.tv forward slash bangers. Uh, and my Twitter is just method bangers, I think. It um, is. Yeah. So, yeah, you can find me there if you want to come and hang out or whatever. Dory. Oh, no, he doesn't yeah, know. Dor- Dory <laughs> Kiel. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice that, dude. It's yeah. very Norwegian. Yeah, and they see. Uh, you can find me pretty much every day on my stream, twitch.tv uh, slash Vossi. Um, and on Twitter, uh, I think it's Vossi MK, if I'm wrong. We'll put them all so, below. Yeah. I'll, I'll make someone yeah, do okay. that. I'll, yeah. you know. Perfect then. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me. It's nice to be you know, surrounded by a total IQ of 20 today, talking about Balanced Druids. It's been an absolute pleasure. Make sure you like, subscribe, YouTube algorithm, all of the stuff that YouTubers say. This has been the Method Balanced Druid Roundtable. I've been Grant. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you very soon. Peace. Thank you.